Hey everybody, Walter here. I just wanted to go ahead and name my top 5 favorite films of 2017. Now I only saw 21 movies in theaters this year, so this is just the, my favorite movies that I saw. And we're going to go into it right now with number 5. Baby Driver was very unique and different. It was an Edgar Wright movie and had a lot of really cool elements to it. The music, I think, being the most prominent. I really liked that the main character had sort of this hearing issue from his past and they in integrated that into the story. And it was just a, a really solid movie and felt very unique. I liked it a lot and that's why it claimed number five on this list. Coco is my favorite animated movie of the year. I think it's a lot of people's favorite animated movie of the year. And it's also definitely one of my favorite Pixar movies now. If I went back and did my top five Pixar movies now, I think that this would probably be in there. It's right up there with Inside Out and behind the Toy Story movies for me. This was very different. I love the, the Mexican culture that they integrated into it. Uh, and the Land of the Dead stuff was amazing. Everything looked great. This was another movie that the music had a lot to do with. And I loved all, all the music in it. Um, it had several twists on your expectations uh, where I thought I was going to go one way and it sort of went that way but put a different twist on things um, where it didn't exactly, uh, well, it wasn't too predictable. And I really liked Coco for that. So if you haven't seen Coco yet, I think it's still in theaters, go ahead and check it out. They removed that stupid Frozen short from in front of it so you won't have to wait 45 minutes for the movie to start. Get Out came out really early in 2017 and it still stuck with me. I really like that movie. I want to see it a few more times, actually. I just haven't had the chance to do that. But man, this movie was great. Uh, Jordan Peele's directorial debut and it was... I mean, we expect a lot of comedy from him, from Key and Peele. And there is comedic moments in here. It definitely has a unique tone where it's, it is a horror movie, but it has all these really funny elements in it. And it balanced those two things well the horrific parts with the funny parts and the serious moments and obviously the commentary in there is very very prominent and the whole point of the movie also the ending i just love because it went a different way and also kind of play with expectations like coco did so this was great uh, i really like it out i'm looking forward to seeing it a few more times and i'm really really looking forward to seeing more of jordan peele's horror movies So if you saw my top five best Marvel movies list, I'm still kind of shocked that I rank this as number one. Logan is the best Marvel movie that's ever been released. I firmly believe that. That's my opinion. And it's number two for this year's movies. For me, for the movies that I saw. I, you know, if you want to check out my detailed thoughts on that, go ahead and check out the top five best Marvel movies over on Channel Awesome. But man, I love the character moments in this. It, it, just the whole tone of everything. It's It's near perfection. And James Mangold, the director here, really outdid himself. This is his best movie since Copland, I think. And it's one of the best performances I've ever seen Hugh Jackman give, if not his best. Same thing goes for Patrick Stewart. And uh, the little girl in this is just fantastic. Daphne Keene is amazing. And she's one of the main reasons this works so well, too. I'm really hoping, I know that things might have changed now that Disney bought Fox, but I'm really hoping that they're still developing some kind of spin-off movie with Daphne Keene's X-23, uh, Laura. I'm really hoping we see more of that character because she was so amazing in this. I had a whole hour discussion with Jim about this movie also on this channel. So if you want to see my detailed thoughts on that, make sure you go and check out that video. But man, Blade Runner 2049 was a technical masterpiece. It was a story-driven, character-driven movie that I just loved every moment of. I had to see it again as soon as I saw it. So I've seen it twice in theaters. And that was the place to see this movie was in theaters. I mean, I'm sure it'll still be great when I watch it on Blu-ray at home. But man, this movie was made for the theater. So many amazing performances, so many amazing moments. Harrison Ford is fantastic in this. One of his best performances of the last 10 to 20 years, I think. He's incredible in this. Ryan Gosling is amazing. I just really, really love this movie. And uh, it's, you know, I wasn't a big fan of the original Blade Runner, and this made me a fan of a Blade Runner movie. <laughs> I really love this, and uh, it's the best film of the year. It was kind of close with Logan. That was more of a character-driven movie, small kind of story. This was a much bigger deal, but I think it accomplished more with, uh, you know, and expanded on the ideas that were in Blade Runner to uh, a point where I just loved. So if you haven't seen Blade Runner 2049, it's definitely going to probably lose something from, you know, going from the big screen to uh, TV now, if it's probably not in theaters anymore. But I think you should see it anyway. This is an amazing sci-fi film. A sci-fi noir, an uh, amazing mystery story with, like I said, great performances, great characters, and I really love this one. This is my favorite movie of the year.
hopefully I'll see more this year. And by the end of 2018, I'll give you guys a bigger list of uh, maybe a top 10 or something like that. But we'll see. So thanks for watching this. Make sure you uh, go ahead and check out the top five best 90s Nickelodeon game shows, which just went up over on Channel Awesome. And I'll be back here very soon with the Jumanji comparison video. I saw Jumanji recently. So Jumanji 1995 with the Alan Parrish character played by Robin Williams uh, compared to the Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle movie that just came out this year with The Rock, Kevin Hart, Jack Black, uh, and all the other characters from that movie. So make sure you check back for that. I'm going to be comparing those two movies soon, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.